Kayla here and welcome to my channel. Also welcome to my YouTube series, Let's Talk With Kay. So I had a couple of people, like not even a couple, a lot of people have been asking me how I started my business, what to do, and with me being so young, how do I handle everything? I so you guys, I posted on my Instagram and my Facebook and Snapchat, I asked you guys to send me a couple questions. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Number one question that I get pertaining to my business would be, how did you do it? And also, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my phone here. I have a couple notes written down. So there are five steps to know when starting a business. You should go by in order to be successful. Number one step that I have is to create a plan and brainstorm. So... Creating a plan and brainstorming is really, really important into starting a business because this is basically how you're setting up exactly how you want your business or how you want to just, what is your purpose basically. So um, create a plan, brainstorm. Number two, most people think that you can just jump straight into a business and get straight to the money no <laughs> you need to get help you need help trust me so with me being so young um i asked my mom to help me out with a couple of things and if you know someone who has a business or just a business owner you could probably ask a couple questions then that is important you should also do that number three finance and save so financially businesses aren't easy at all so what you want to do is you actually want to plot out exactly how much you want to put into building your business so whether that's twenty dollars or two hundred dollars you need to plot out either talk to your bank or um, someone with the business or someone you need to save save your money don't jump straight into it because that would be a complete fail and that would not be fun um number four broadcast and promote yourself so when jumping straight into a business it's not easy to get a lot of publicity unless like most business owners are already famous and you know it's easy. What you though. should do is you should tell your family and friends and sometimes even if you're in school, I tell your teachers or just just broadcast yourself. Number five is going to be get ready to hustle. So once that is all said and done, you're going to get to the hard part. Um, don't stress about. You need to know that there are times when some things aren't going to always go right or not always go your way, but you need to get your hustle on. So when starting my business, I know um, I basically thought about because um, basically I've always been into hair, but I would always like buy from hair vendors or just buy from a local beauty supply and there would be things that I did not like about it or or stuff that I wish was better. So I base my business off of my experience with hair and my love for hair. So with my business, I started out pretty much with nothing. I... Um, I thought a lot. I planned a lot out before I jumped straight into it. It took me quite a while to um, get everything started, but it was all worth it. Um, um, I also have a couple of questions that you guys have sent me that I'm going to just answer. And then again, I'm looking at my phone for those questions. So the first question I have is, how did you start selling your bundles? So I started selling my bundles I started out with like um, one of my first checks from work and basically I was just planning out what I wanted to buy. So when you're starting out a hair business, for instance, 
you want to look for the popular hair, the popular length. So what I did was I went straight to my Facebook and I asked people what lengths do they like and um, what type of hair. So for instance, a Brazilian Malaysian or whatever like that. So once I got those responses, I went and I, um, I have a vendor. So I went to my vendor, told them that I need those specific lengths and I started out with about like six bundles or so. So I had very little inventory, but I was just going with what I had to work with. Um, I just was planning, planning, planning. That's all I did was plan for like about four months. I planned and when I had my first customer, I was happy. Like anyone's, anyone's gonna be happy. So what I had did, um, I basically took those specific bundles and I had took pictures of them. And I had, um, by then I had my website already up and running. I had my logo. I had all of my packaging ready and. That was how I sold my first couple of bundles. So also, I will have a couple more videos on how to promote um, vendors. I will have a couple of videos on how to build a website. So stay tuned for those. And um, my second question was, did you save up and order a bunch? Like I said in the last question, I did save up and then I just ordered as much as I knew I could afford. You order from someone and sell at your own price. So that's the thing about the hair business. There are many vendors in the hair business that will sell at a bundle for $100 versus a vendor who will sell a bundle to you for like $40. That is how those businesses make their profit. And um, how did you exactly put your business out there? So with my business, I started out with um, just telling most of my friends. Because I was kind of scared. I didn't know what I was doing. Like I said, I was doing this all by myself. I didn't know what I was doing. So... When I started promoting, I basically started out promoting by myself. So what I would do was I would get my hair done in all types of different styles and colors. And then most people would look at me and be like, wow, your hair is pretty. Where'd you get it from? And then, boom, that was my opportunity to give them a card. And that's how I promoted myself. How did you jump into it? It was not easy. I kind of took my time when starting my business because I knew I wanted to perfect it. I know when I started my business, I wanted certain things to be this way, that way, and that's how it was going to be. So um, I didn't jump just straight into it. I kind of planned, planned, planned. Then I have another question that says, I'm not sure how to start a business. Like, I know I want to go into cosmetics or maybe hair, but I don't know where to start. So this question, you should do those five steps. Create a goal, get help, save, get ready to hustle. Because that's just how you want to go into it versus as just jumping straight into it with no help and just being confused business would not be good that way do you have any tips on how to start selling so with selling i think that everyone my mom is a businesswoman so she helped me out a lot with selling so what she did was she helped me a lot on that part because i started out a little bit shy she would pass my cards out every time we go out to eat or just like Everywhere we went, my mom was passing out cards. Pass out cards. Most people, I know when someone's passing me a card, I'm probably going to just look at it like, okay, and then just, you know. What I did with a lot of people, I would see them in public, and they'd ask me a few questions, and then I would, you know, go on to tell them exactly what services I have, what type of hair I have, and, you know, the far longest length that I have in it. So then you're impressing them it, again, but you're also giving them a couple um you're also giving them intel on 
how your business is ran. So they're they're going to be interested if you tell them information. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to just message me on any of my social medias. And I also have a couple more videos coming up on exactly how to build your website, your logos, and promoting your business as well. So be sure to check those out when those are up and ready. And thank you for watching.